Welcome to part 2 of the OWASP Top 10 API Security Threats and how to prevent them. In this video, we will take a look at threats 6 through 10. If you missed part 1 where we discussed the first 5 threats, please check it out first. You can find the link in the description. Mass Assignment An API exposes a resource which allows users to update their personal information. John updates his information and sees that the response returned to the application contains a default value for the credit balance which was not specified in the request sent by John's application. Retrieving his personal information confirms to John that the credit balance is read-only data which is not meant to be updated by the application and is maintained by the system. John attempts to update his read-only credit balance by replicating the same request sent by the application and including the credit field with a value. The API blindly assigns the value provided in the request to its internal data structure without validating the value sent. This causes internally managed credit balance to be updated to the value specified by John. An API gateway is used to expose the personal information API and validate the schema of the request being sent. This will ensure that any request that contains fields other than the specified one will be denied, thereby preventing the exposure of the API that is vulnerable to mass assignment. Security Misconfiguration Shortcomings in the API implementation and how the API server itself is configured could expose security vulnerabilities that can be exploited. Expose files, security vulnerabilities, and unnecessary feature enablement at server level could enable attackers to gain control of the API server itself. Security can be further compromised by the API by the use of unsecured transport, poor cost policy enforcement, and verbose error messages which leak internal information. An API gateway can act as the secure interface to your API, allowing you to centrally enforce security. It can be used to enforce cost policies, HTTP transport, and do customized error handling. Also securing the centralized servers that runs the API gateway is much easier than securing multiple API servers. Injection The inputs to the APIs are very interesting targets for any attacker. Injection vulnerabilities cause computing systems to potentially process malicious data that attackers introduce. John noticed that he needs to pass an ID as a query parameter to the API request and it will send a response with the information corresponding to that ID. John updates the query parameter with a modified conditional statement which gets directly injected in the SQL query used by the backend. This leads to all the results in the database table being returned. This attack can also be used to remove table data or overload the database. An API gateway can act as the secure interface to the API and scan for any malicious data in HTTP headers, query parameters, URI paths, and the request payload. Requests that consist of injection attacks can be identified and denied. Improper Assets Management It was discovered that version 1 of the Employee Info Search API, V1 Employee Info, exposed too much personal information about the subject of the search. This was rectified in version 2 of the API, V2 Employee Info, and latest version of the applications were upgraded to use the new API version. However, due to existing legacy users that need to be supported, version 1 of the API is still being run. John, who is using the latest version of the application, notices that version 2, V2 Employee Info, of an API is being used to retrieve information. By changing the version to 1 in the URL and invoking the API resource, John discovers the initial version of the API and is able to retrieve additional personal information about the subject of the search that should not be exposed. API gateways can be used to effectively manage the lifecycle of an API and in this case deprecate an older version of an API when a new version becomes available. This allows existing legacy applications who have already subscribed to API version 1 to continue using that API version. However, newer applications are not allowed to subscribe to the API version 1 and any attempt to access the older version will be denied. In a scenario where there is no requirement to allow access to the older version of an API, once a newer version becomes available, an API gateway can be used to manage the lifecycle by retiring the older API version. This will ensure that the API version 1 is completely removed from the API gateway and is no longer accessible to any applications. Insufficient logging and monitoring John has stolen Mary's access token. He uses this token to view and alter some data. Mary finds out about this and informs the API owner. 
the API owner revokes the compromised access token and issues Mary a new one. However, the data that John had viewed or altered is unknown. Since the API does not produce enough logs to investigate, it is difficult to determine what data may have been compromised by John's actions. When API traffic is exposed via an API gateway, API requests and response metadata can be logged centrally. These logs can be investigated in this scenario to filter out what requests have been performed by the stolen access token, revealing the extent of John's infiltration. Let's take a look at a scenario where real-time monitoring is important. Mary lives in the US and updates information via her application which invokes the Info API exposed via an API gateway. The API gateway is able to identify that Mary primarily uses the API from the US base on the IP address of her device which runs her application. An API gateway can be used to monitor API traffic for anomalies in access patterns. John resides in Argentina. He manages to steal Mary's access token and begins to invoke the API. In this case, it is recognized that instead of Mary's US IP address, an IP address from Argentina is submitting the API calls. The API gateway flags this as a suspicious activity and blocks the request made by John and informs an administrator so that the appropriate action can be taken on their end. This wraps up our look at the top 10 OWASP API security threats and how they can be prevented. We hope this helps you in your quest to keep your API secure and continually serving the needs of your organization. Thanks for watching.